So recently I saw a post on Reddit which uh, is titled Battlefield 1 is $130 for the full game, don't let this become a new standard. And some people agree to this, the others are saying $130 it's not a full experience, you just need a $60 for a full experience, right? So I was like, okay, he's right, but what does actually $60 offer you in Battlefield? And one user, GG replied to this. He made a really nice post telling everyone how much it cost him to buy a game and uh, DLCs, every each DLC, right? And the game itself is actually more than 60. It's uh, $80, then $90. But keep in mind, we're talking about release date, not when the prices drop over the year, okay? And someone made a comment comparing this to Half-Life, saying that if you look at this way in on Half-Life, then Half-Life costed $130 or something, right? I don't remember the exact number he said, but it was about 100 And I just can't stand here and let people take that as excuse. So first off, Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3 single player. That thing is laughable. You pay $80, or in Battlefield 4's case, $90 for a game, and you get that sorry excuse for a single player. Really? And before you say the Battlefield is not a single player game, dude, you paid for it, it is there, it's a single player experience also, okay? On the other hand, the Battlefield multiplayer is pretty good, there's no denying. Battlefield 3 was uh, like 9 maps plus 5 game modes and Battlefield 4 is uh, 10 maps plus 7 game modes. And then every 6 months you have a DLC with 4 maps, around 10 weapons, a couple of vehicles, and that all sounds reasonable until you compare it to some other games like Battlefield Bad Company 2 for example. I paid 25 euros for that and that's it, nothing more. We had additional maps, we had patches, everything was fine. Plus we had the Vietnam DLC that felt like a complete new game. And look at Half-Life, it was $60 back in 98. No DLC, because you didn't need it, you could create from map, to weapons, to new campaigns, whatever you wanted to. You could create a new mod that felt like a complete new game. And you didn't need $15 every 6 months. And please don't say that you don't like the mods in game, because you probably played some of them and didn't know they were mods. And you ended up liking them probably. And uh, one more thing about Battlefield. Battle packs. I would like to see you try to defend those. Don't say that Battlefield offers you this content, this paid content every six months for $15. Keep in mind that used to be free and that's why I'm not paying 60, 70, 80, 100, 130 dollars for any Battlefield with this type of business practice.